say, I want to say a few words, <laughs> but I, I think it is appropriate. Because, my dear friends, I have reached the stage now that I can say what Father Damien once said when he was a leper himself. He would say, we lepers. And I can say also, we old people. <laughs> we old people. Of course, I'm very gratified with our father, to your own self, but he does not experience yet what it is to be old. That you can is an awful experience. It is an experience of loneliness sometimes, of gradually losing your powers, thinking perhaps even not so smart anymore as you were as a younger man, of movement, you are slow, and also of future. If we look forwards, we look at the face of death. Sometimes I wake up at night and I think, so I'm going to die. <laughs> it's not at all. It is not at all an illusion. It is not at all a fear which is ungrounded. It is a reality. So I am going to die. And that again, if I have enough power still to pray, Father, if possible, let this cup pass me by. Not like Father Language, please. <laughs> Something like Father from the Little that was nice, like just a off he went. <laughs> uh, if that can be done, that can be arranged, I'm happy with it. But Father, let this cup pass me by. And then I realize, dear sister, you do too, that we are with Jesus. We have a chance to fulfill our discipleship till the end. And I begin to pray. We love it. But not my will that you all will be done. But make it easy. Make it easy. Father, I love Jesus Christ and you love my dad. But make it easy. And then I remember that famous word, the number that I wake up, we are always bad, almost. I don't know when you have that also when I wake up. I'm the gloomiest person in Singapore. I get all sorts of bad imagination. So I'm all imagination is also that imagination of death. And I remember the word of Jesus all of a sudden. I God, my God, why have you forsaken me? I have such a bodice child. I gave my whole life and praise Lord to you. I preached all the time about that life was full of hope because we have a resurrection. At my door I feel like this. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And then I remember again that this is a moment, a blessed moment, in which we can unite ourselves with Jesus in his last moments. And I say, Father, again, as we can live, feel free in your hands, I command my spirit. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, you can unite yourself with Jesus in your suffering. Not only Jesus is with you, you can live. 